Apparently that's the most uh, targeted co-op for thieving. They're always getting thieving, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. This part of Dixon Road here, it's a little bit, uh, yeah, a little bit. <whistles> Claremont Park, look at this. See those houses over there? That's Claremont Road over there, yeah? Picking up outside the co-op. Someone's just been jumped out. Welcome to another video. Walk on the wild side and I'm here in Blackpool. It's a bit of a wet night in Blackpool tonight. The rain is coming down. I'm currently stood on Worley Road, North Shore. And I'm just by the Grand Hotel, just over there. Check it out. This bit of land here is where the Derby Baths used to be, yeah? And if you look behind me, you might be able to see the promenade just over there. We've got a tram going past. We've got the illuminations on. Well, the illuminations will look cracking in the rain. In the reflections, we've got some nice reflections. But anyway, I'm going to be leaving the bright lights of Blackpool Promenade and I'm going to be heading towards the east and covering some more of those streets of North Shore. So it's sort of like a continuation of my, if you saw that night walk I did, north of the railway station, Claremont area. This is a bit of a continuation of that. So let's go and head up there and we'll check out some more of these North Shore streets. You're gonna have to excuse me, I'm battling a bit with the rain here. I've got a brolly. I'm trying to keep my camera dry. <laughs> but here's a look at what I can see at the moment. We've got quite a busy promenade, actually. I see a coach there and a few cars. It's around about, it's not late. It's only around about six o'clock in the evening. There's the Grand Hotel, formerly the Pembroke and the Stackis. Who remembers that nightclub they used to have in there? It was called Springs. I think it was quite a classy nightclub, actually, from what I heard. I might be wrong. And the Derby Bass, of course, was right here. Now, as you know, I do like to do these walks in the dark, so... <laughs> here we are again, out in the dark and the rain. I'm just heading up here to the, the junction up here. This is quite a long road, by the way. This road, Worley Road, it goes all the way to Warbreck Hill, the bottom of Warbreck Hill, and where that DWP building is, Warbreck House, that one that burnt down. That's where this road leads to. My goodness, I'm battling with a brother. Oh, by the way, that co-op on the corner there, that's the, apparently that's the most uh, targeted co-op for, for thieving. They're always getting thieving, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I remember seeing someone legging it out of there once as well. I've got dash cam footage of it. Some guy legging it down the road out of the co-op there. Security chasing after him, but they just let him go, because what can you do? Anyway, this is Dixon Road. So we're now at the Dixon Road. A little bit, yeah, a little bit around here, this, this part of Dixon Road. It is. I've mentioned it before that this part of do that coach was beeping at not beeping at me was it now then uh, we're looking south can you see the tower whoa it's like a beacon of hope in the distance isn't it yeah i've mentioned before on the channel that this part of dixon road here is yeah it's a little bit uh, yeah a little bit <whistles> but i'm going to head down this road i'm going to carry on i'll just give you a look around so there's the co up over there that takes you down to dixon road there sorry no that takes you down to gin square the dixon road there's loads of shops and takeaways down that way. Anyway, let's carry on up here, shall we? See what we can, I can hear someone shouting over the road. He's bawling into his phone. It's like he's having a domestic. So we'll take a look down here, shall we? And I'm going to head towards Claremont Park, which I've never featured 
on the channel before, Claremont Park. Now this is another one of those roads which is kind of like a road of two half where it's better at one end than the other. It's certainly this part where I am now of Worley Road is, yeah, it's, uh, it's not the best part. This road here is called Booth Royden. It's a strange name, isn't it? Booth Royden. Funny name for a road, isn't it? You know, I just got a massive whiff of cannabis then. Absolutely double strong. What's that road called over there? Drummond Road, is it? I don't know. I'm not very familiar with these streets. But um, I'm learning. I'm learning. I'm not sure if some of these properties are lived in looking at the looking at the front of them. The overgrown. A bit that one there. You can tell some of these are flats as well because well a lot of the flats have wheelie bins in the front garden. Not all of them. But uh, and normally when you have a property with wheelie bins in the front around here it usually means that it's a flat I might be wrong I don't think it's a good look though really we're now actually up to a road which I featured on my last video when I walked around the North Shore Street Sherbourne Road I just want to mention that there was a murder down here really last year February 2023 I think it was and uh, some guy got murdered in the street. It was, uh, it was actually up this way. So if you go up this way onto Car Shelton Road, it happened on Car Shelton Road, but it started on Booth Royden, which I looked at just back there. And um, yeah, so uh, four people ended up getting put away for that, yeah. I'll put a link to that in the description if you want to read about it, yeah. Someone got murdered just up here, Car Shelton Road. Yeah, so like I say, when you hear about stuff like that going on around here, it makes you think, doesn't it? So, this is the Claremont area of Blackpool, where we are now. And I'm heading down here towards Claremont Park. Bloody hell. That was military money. So like I said, this road here, if you go to the other end of this road, it's quite a bit more, quite a bit more upmarket than this end. What's this road here? I don't know, they don't have, oh, Westminster Road. I was looking, I was looking on the house for the sign, but it's down there and it look, Westminster Road. They don't have a sign on the other side though. Looks like a shop on the corner, or was a shop. I will say one thing, these walls are looking quite nice, aren't they? Look at the, look at the, uh, the pillars on these walls here. It's starting to get a little bit more starting to get a little bit more leafy the more you walk down here the leafier it gets this is another road I don't know the name of it I can't I can't see the looks a bit like a dead end not sure where that leads to we're not too far from from uh, Claremont Park though and uh, be a bit more leafy. These houses are actually quite good houses down here, you know. Oh, the, there's some grand houses down this way now. It's getting better. The further down here we go. 
Now, as we look up there to the very end of this road, it's not, it's not the end of this road. It's a junction with Devonshire Road. And if you carry on, the road then, Worley Road continues, and then it goes around a bit of a bend down a hill and it comes out pretty much at the entrance to where the Warbreck House DWP is, just to give you an idea. Now, I think, I think we're up to Wall, uh, sorry, I think we're up to Claremont Park. Is that a path down there? I can't tell. I don't know if I want to walk down there, folks, in the dark. I can't even see where I'm going. We'll carry on up here a bit and see if I can find a way into the park. And then we'll head through the park and we'll have a little look at a bit more of Claremont. Yeah, the, uh, the properties are getting nicer now. They are getting nicer. I just want to say again that uh, I'm struggling a bit with my foot. I'm still struggling with it, yeah. So I'm not going to do a really long video. Um, try and keep it short because uh, still got this condition. It's doing me head in. Anyway, let's carry on, shall we? We'll head into this park. Okay, so I've just come down now and I'm now in Claremont Park, look at this. So we're looking over there, you see those houses over there? That's Claremont Road over there, yeah? Check it out, and there's a pan this way, you can see Blackpool Tower, look at that! Blackpool Tower, in the distance, it's like a beacon of hope shining down. So anyway, let's head through here, shall we, to the other side? Sorry if the brolly gets in the way a bit. I'm having to battle the wind here. <laughs> oh, it's a nightmare, folks. Why do I put myself through this? So this is Claremont Park. And I have to say that I don't even think I've ever even set foot in this park before <laughs> until now. Hey, you know what? I'm looking down that street over there, straight ahead, and I can see a train. Yeah, because that's a railway track down there. Yeah. There you go. So let's head through here, shall we? We'll have a little look at Claremont Road. We'll see what we can see. I can't show you too much because my foot's playing up. But, uh, well, it's a first for me to show this, this park. The first time I've ever been in this park properly that I know of. It's actually quite a big space really. Look at that there, can you see? It's got a massive, a massive field there. And as I pan this way, there's a bit of rain on, on the lens, I'll have to clean that up. Look at that, we've got a massive green space. This is good, this folks. This is what you want. You want green spaces and they've got it here in Claremont. So here we go, heading towards Claremont Road. Rain is still coming down. I think there's a bit of an estate up there or an ex-council estate up that way. And uh, as we come this way, I'm just heading out of the park now on the other side. We've got a massive terrace of houses here. is a long terrace. <laughs> so this is Claremont Road. Check it out. These overlook Claremont Park. Leaves are all coming down as well. So I've made it to the other end of this terrace here on Claremont Road and uh, we'll carry on. The rain is still coming down. You might be able to see the raindrops on that puddle there. I'm not going to go any further up here but there is some bright lights over there 
that's a school it's called Westminster Primary School just in there I don't have to wipe the lens again it's got some rain on it I'm doing my best but it's a bit of a struggle I'm going to take a left here down this road this road is called Cromwell 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 Road is it yeah Cromwell Road let's go down here shall we Dog was barking at me there. I think it was uh, being attracted by my umbrella. We've got some flats here which look a bit like retirement. Retirement flats, sheltered flats there. It's called. What's it called? I don't know. So this is Cromwell Road. I'm not familiar with this area at all, by the way. I mentioned that on my last video but I'm giving you a bit of a look a bit of a feel for these areas that there's called Bedford Road it's a bit like Coronation Street land isn't it look look down there look they're all terraces aren't they got a premier shop here 8am till 10 quite handy for the shop just in here we've got some kind of new it's like a bit of a new estate actually I actually know someone who used to live in here I've been in here before it's called Claremont Court so a bit more modern type of housing there that road over there is called Sutherland Road looks like they've got some new houses on there as well just here we've got a phone box uh, which has got no door on it and uh, not much else <laughs> oh my goodness hey, look at the state of that hey, they don't have to get some abuse hey. my goodness I'll tell you one thing though we're all right for trees around here aren't we we've got a few trees in this part of the oh, oh, it's kicking off again with the dog there they always go for me dogs I don't know what it is maybe they can smell me coming <laughs> now I believe that this road that I'm heading towards now is called Handsworth in fact I can see the sign <laughs> Handsworth Road so again we've got a load of terraced houses oh that rain honestly folks it's I'm struggling here but I'm doing my best to bring you what I can there you go Handsworth Road again it's just like it's a bit like Claremont isn't it it's got a massive terrace a huge terrace some of the doorways look quite grand actually I don't um, so oh, my goodness oh, the wind's coming at me now as I head up Handsworth Road so I'm going to head up here uh, this is that estate of new newish modern houses there you go there's a the street sign there Handsworth Road and this is called oh this well this is a different one this, this is called Handsworth Court yeah there you go and as I turn around we've got a road here called Grantham Road and that looks like it it uh, goes right up to the the railway tracks there bit of an embankment it's, there's a sign up there that says welcome to the Blackpool train maintenance depot up that way so uh, that's where that leads to but I'm going to carry on I'm going to carry on up here to the top what's this place here is it a health centre or something can't tell oh just made a firework I hope it was a firework this is called Pennystone Court ah it'd be retirement it'd be a retirement home won't it I think what do you think 
I'll tell you what, they don't have to spend some energy with these uh, with these floodlights at these places. That school over there had loads of floodlights on it beaming down. I'd like to know how much uh, energy they're taking. But anyway, we're just coming up to the the top end of of this road here, Handsworth Road. Again, we've got some quite nice walls with uh, a real mixture of housing, isn't there? Around here. Okay, so I've just got to the top of Handsworth Road and I'm back out here where I've been before. If you watch my other video, North Shore Streets, at night, I actually went past this place, this pub here called The Corner House on Sherborne Road, so I'm back out onto Sherborne Road again and uh, I'm going to carry on up here and uh, we'll end up back where I started almost. Okay, so I ended up pretty much where I started again and uh, I actually got distracted by a beer monster getting kicked out of the co-op by security and I completely forgot to do my outro so there's no outro for this video um, anyway but I will be covering more of this area in future because it is very unfamiliar to me so watch out for more videos of the Claremont area and North Shore Blackpool in future if you like the video hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos and I'll see you again on the next one